look at poor Ma Bear and how she has to resort to eating. She has the food that has to be next to her. She's just eating with her hands. And the reason is because this little guy fell asleep on the job. And dumb and dumber. <laughs> it's pretty funny. But yeah, so Taika fell asleep on, on Geo and our food just came in. So I'm gonna keep Mobber company on the floor here. But I'm gonna progress. try to make as little noise as possible. And Mobber's just been picking away at me with their hands. And I made coffee, so I'm gonna get some coffee for Mama Bear Potato. And that's parent life, y'all. It's pretty funny because you just gotta like you you never know how much you live for yourself until you have a kid and because um, now once the kid is there it's like he's the priority right and then you're always like oh I'm so used to getting going getting up and going or eating things that you want to and you like but when you start having to balance your life around something else you're like oh shit this is different I mean, I'm trying not to make it So excited for the stupidest things now. Coffee, baby, baby. Oh yeah. So even though this is a really uncomfortable position to eat, it's one of the cuniest breakfasts we've had. Just eating. Oh no, did I go with coffee? No. And I'm just eating off the floor with my coffee. And I got a, I got Belgian waffle bit. What the hell? This thing popped off. Holy shit, this thing melted off. That shit's crazy. Oh no, it's soaking into it. No. I can't even yell because I don't want to wake anyone up. Buzz Lightyear is down. So the monster is now awake. And he's staring me dead square in the eyes. Get off me. He wants a challenge. <gasps> Daiku, what do you want from me? What do you want from me? What do you want from me? <gasps> you little monster. What's going on, Buzz Lightyear? So he's making his rounds, he's walking around in crazy laps. And the minute I turn on the camera, this guy starts crawling towards me. What happened to all your little laps you're doing? I wanted to show everyone your little laps. Here, let's show everyone your little laps. Go. Go, do your little laps, go, go, go take a, go, go this way, go this way, go this way, go, okay, you're walking straight towards me, Tiger, <laughs> that's not the plan, Tiger, the plan was so you could go little laps, so you could show everyone your little laps, okay, let's try one more time, let's try one more time, okay, mister, one more time. One more time, okay, dude? One more time. Okay. Ooh, nice. Okay. Okay, let's see. Let's see, Taiga. Go. Let's see. Do your little laps, dude. <laughs> you crazy. You crazy guy. Come on, Buzz Lightyear. Buzz Lightyear. <gasps> Ooh, good job. Good job. Good job. Good job, Taiga. You're doing good. So proud of you. Any day now, he's gonna be walking. Like, he's already walking. I mean, like walking, walking on his own. Like right now, he has spurts, random spurts, like little, little diagonals. He goes here and there. I would prop. I think I can almost safely say before he turns one, 
he's gonna be walking like really well on his own. Maybe even inside of a store. Cause right now, like when he's in. A, that was so random. What? what do you mean inside of a store? Like in public? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that was so specific. <laughs> Cause right now, um, he only walks in familiar places. So if I take him to like a friend's house, he's gonna be crawling around for a little bit until he gets used to it. But at home, he likes walking a lot. But I think. In, <gasps> Because that's how we put that little crash pad theme there because he would love just slamming himself into the floor. There he goes. There's his little laps. There's his little lappy laps. There's his little lappy laps. Good job, Tiger. Good job, Tiger. Good job, Tiger. Good job. Then he always ends his little lappy laps going into his mom. Or crashing on the side. Tiger. <laughs> What's wrong? Why look at yourself? Tiger. Look at yourself. Tiger. Tiger. Your dad's calling you. Tiger. I'm trying to buy you some pillows to crash into you. Tiger. Why are you going crazy? <laughs> He's also learning how to throw little tantrums too. I know, that's been kind of a milk shock. Get with your feet down there, you silly. Are you still crossed? They were a little bit. <clears throat> Tiger. <laughs> Buzz Lightyear looks so disgruntled. Disgruntled Buzz Lightyear. Bikini. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay, into the crash pack. There he goes. We just rearranged our living room so Taika has more room for activities. Get the stepbrothers reference. We brought uh, that beanbag chair from up in our room and then we moved the box of toys over there and then we moved the bear over here. So now he has more crash area and we moved that big old tent upstairs because we realized it just took up too much space and Taika's in this phase where he just wants to go everywhere and just crash all over the place so we wanted it to make it as soft and crashy as possible but we also uh, want to make sure that he can't climb on anything like we originally had that beanbag right here and then we thought that was a bad idea because we just climb on top of that and go on the couch and if we're not looking he'll be off and over he can't really climb on any of the bears because once he gets on top, he just squishes down. What the hell is he doing? Cleaning the floor? Good job, Tiger. Must be the Mexican side taking over. Thank you for cleaning, Mario. What are you doing? Spanking your monkey? <laughs> you bikini. Grow up, Mario. Mario. He's spanking his monkey. How do you feel about your son spanking his He's monkey? He's not. He has his monkey in his mouth. <laughs> oh, is that even worse? <laughs> Taika, what are you doing with your monkey? He is stuffing his monkey in his mouth. Bite that monkey. Monkey oh. dude, monkey dude. Monkey dude, monkey dude, monkey, monkey dude, monkey dude, monkey, Taika, you're a monkey with dark knees. <gasps> Taika, your knees are so dark, dude. Yeah, but Your knees a, are so dark that your mom, I don't know, sounds like it's the beginning of a diss. Oh, yeah. Do we have enough bears <laughs> in the living room? I don't think so. I don't think you can ever have enough. We have a bear here, a bear there, and another bear There's behind your head. bears. I know, but they're all huge and all bigger than him. Look at the size difference. Everything's bigger than him. The chair's really not that big. Yeah, it looks huge. Big cuny dude. But he's actually pretty huge. So you're gonna eat the blanket? Perfect. He's trying to get up. I think he's stuck. No pants.
Pete's crew checking in. PJ's crew checking in. And also No Pants crew checking in. So we decided. And PJ's, he's half and half. Oh, he's half and half. So we decided to not even wear pants because that's how dedicated we are to not getting out of the car. We were like, what do we want to have for lunch? And I just threw out random in and out. Let's get in and out. But since today is a lazy home day, we're like, oh. well, I was going to make tuna. And you were like, I'm like, I want to make. And you were like, let's get in and out. And I'm like, yes. I never say no to in and out. Yeah. Especially if you're from California and you have elevated taste buds. I don't know about people from Texas talk about Whataburger. But in and outs the shit. Oh, damn. He's just offended everyone. Well, Hi. they need to change their taste buds up. What's up? <laughs> um, can I have a number one animal style? Number one animal style? Okay. Yeah, Arnold Palmer. Um, and then two. Can two. I get two uh, double doubles animal style, please? Yeah. Two double doubles animal style, okay. Uh, and then you wanted large. A side of fries? Uh, side of fries. Okay. And then a large. Large Arnold Palmer with, with extra, extra ice. ice. Yeah. Extra ice. Yeah. Okay. That's it. This was three double doubles animal cell, <clears throat> two regular fries, one large Arnold Palmer, extra ice, correct? Yes, and then there's uh, another Arnold Palmer in there, right? Is it a large or regular? Just regular. Regular? Yeah. Extra ice as well or no? Yeah. Okay. I can do that. It's freaking hot today. Okay. And also, you drove for the car here or to go? Uh, to go. To go? Yeah. Are oh, you eating in the car? Idiot at the first window. Oh, eating in the car, I'm sorry. Oh, in the car? I'm yeah. sorry. No, no worries. Okay, so it's three double doubles, animal cell, two regular fries, one large Arnold Palmer with extra ice, and a medium Arnold Palmer extra ice, correct? Yes. Okay, so it'll be 21 cool. Thank, Thank you. you. The reason why you want to say you're eating in the car, they'll give you a box tray, and it's easier to split it up that way. If you say to go, everything comes in a bag, and everything gets all mushy, and then it starts bleeding all over the place. Trust me, I'm very, very experienced. Um, but the goal is to keep Taika asleep for as long as he can, because earlier he took a nap, but it was only like 30 or 40 minutes. So if we can keep him asleep, then we can actually eat in peace and not have to worry about him. But this is how dedicated we are to just you being eat lazy. In peace. What the fuck? Hmm? You always eat in peace. Oh no, the camera. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, okay, all right. Just kidding. That joke's played out. She keeps copying my jokes all the time. But uh, before I was really interrupted. That, um, that you always eat in peace? Yes. And are you done? Are you done pointing that out? Yeah, did you guys, did you guys get that? You guys got that? Think, okay, they're not in there. They I got think, it. I think they're good. Okay. The wife job of bashing her husband is done. Is done. I'm okay. out now. Okay, Thanks, cool. guys. Uh, I was just going back to how cuny we were that we knew under no circumstance, even if we got robbed, someone keyed our car, hit our car, hit and run, we're like, we're not going to get out of this car. So we're all pantsless, baby. Oh, damn. Why would you jinx us like that? I didn't even think I don't know why someone comes and robs us and we're like, fuck, we can't get out. God damn it. <laughs> Or we get hit. That's when you're forced to get out. Oh no! Wait, when you get robbed. Well, guess what? We're not. We're not getting out. We're gonna get hit, and we're just gonna roll down the window. I'm like, why'd you hit our car? Can you Facetime us, bro? Yeah. Can we just Facetime? Bring your insurance over to me, and we'll trade information while I stay in the car because none of us are wearing pants. <laughs> yeah, okay? I'm naked from the waist down. Trust me, you don't want me to get out. And those underwear that you're wearing because they're so tight on you, like, uh, because the fabric's so stretched that there's like hard light on it, then you can see all of it like you can see where he has a pimple you can see where the freaking pubic hair is folded like you get to see every single wrinkle on his dick you're welcome yeah. disgusting for you guys i like it but for you guys i'm thinking of you guys you're welcome do you texas folios see this how is what a burger which tastes like microwave burger king gonna taste better than a freshly made in and out double double look at the glisten on this freaking pack of a bun <sighs> and so far the young tykes is still asleep so we're gonna enjoy ourselves a very very romantic parking lot date fine dining parking lot lunch we're gonna find a tree in this parking lot and we're gonna have ourselves a wonderful with this freaking blown out camera. Ooh, did you find the best? Or do you want to park one of these romantic lights? Where do you want to park? You want to park next to the Taco Bell where it's extremely sentimental? Uh, I think we're good here. Okay. 
So as you can see, we chose one of the most romantic places in a parking lot <laughs> to eat lunch at. Next is it's wonderful It's romantic tree. anytime tech is asleep. <laughs> so true. So you know how we're saying we're 100% committed to not leaving the car? And we parked in this fucking romantic ass place. Well, this guy, out of all the cars in the parking lot, pulls up to ours right now, to my left, right I'm gonna, there. I'm gonna yeah. go there. And he literally asks me, do I know how to get to San Diego? He doesn't know how to work his GPS. And I'm like, oh my God, what are the fucking chances of me going, I'm gonna have lunch and I'm not getting out of the car because I didn't want to bring any pants. And some guy's asking me, there's 500 million cars here. Well, I mean, why this one? you just answering. Well, I also don't want to yell because Tyke is sleeping, so I'm trying to keep it down. And this is really fresh. I want to eat this. But if this guy stays here until I'm done with my meal, which I'd be like five minutes, I'll go out and I'll help him. But it's just hilarious to me. Like, the irony is ridiculous. All right, so they're still here trying to figure it out. And Papa's going to be a nice guy. In his underwear to help them. So that's what's happening right now. Look at that. So these poor guys don't know what's going on. And he's trying so hard to figure it out. But. Oh, he just saw him. <laughs> Damn it, I missed it. He just saw him in his underwear, but he didn't really care. Well, I felt bad because he's like someone's grandpa and I didn't want to leave him hanging. So hopefully Papa can help him. Yeah, I felt so bad. Papa put his food in the sun so that it doesn't get cold. But hopefully he can help him because it's not like, um, it's literally like the gar garden, garden, I forgot the brand, but it's like, but only a GPS only like remember those like before we had smartphones they had like like GPS um, What is it like just devices and it just told you directions that was it it wouldn't accept calls or texts or anything uh, so that's what they're using and I can't help with that because I don't know how to navigate it So Papa's really kidney The back there uh, if that person's your grandpa or dad and your mama, uh, just want to tell you guys, they seem very, very sweet, very adorable, very loving, um, and I hope they can make their way to San Diego. So, but yeah, Pop was in his freaking underwear right now. Look at that. Look his ass cheek might be hanging out. I see a little crease. Okay, I think it's got a little more complicated. Now they handed him a phone. <laughs> we'll get there, guys. We'll get there. Hi, sexy legs. What? Want to help him? Yeah, that was meant to happen. Cause you know what his name was? Bart. No, Joe. <gasps> what are the chances of that? His name was Joe. It was meant to help. I don't. That fool's messing with like a 1995 GPS. When I saw you, his wife had a... Yeah, his wife was like, hey, maybe just use a cell phone, it's easier. I'm like, yeah, because that uh, GPS thing, after you type it in, it has to calculate. And it took like five minutes to go, 10%, 20%. And then you can't really zoom out. It's like super old school. It was almost like you were using a Palm Pilot yeah. as a GPS thing. She had an iPhone. I'm like, why are you using the thing? And then, but then now uh, they're, they're on their way. So that's good. I'm glad I was able to help Joe. <laughs> 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 this kidney. Yeah. I know. What are the chances of a of a man that old? With he clearly was not born here because he has a thick ass accent. Uh, to be named Joe. We thought we were gonna get robbed. We we're like, there's like a million spaces. Yeah. Look at how empty this everything is. Look, it's like empty everywhere. It's like, why did that car just pull up on this one? I'm like, oh, well, if you're gonna rob us, good luck, cause I used to rob people, so I'll rob your ass back if you want me to. I know, and we're always scared because we got the Tyco, but... That's true. Oh, yeah. I would have just told you to just drive off somewhere. Yeah. Well, hey, Papa did a good deed today. I kept egging him on, too, because um, I'm in my pajamas. Like, 
and I ain't trying to get out. So I was like, Papa, I know you're still eating, but can you just help him? But I'm gonna help him, I'm gonna yell through the window. He's like, no, you're gonna wake up Taika. He's like, I'll just get out. I'm like, okay, and thank you, baby. Because I was gonna get out, but I don't want to. <laughs> Bikini. Because I'm in PJs and my butt cheeks and my boobies are hanging out. That's true. Thank goodness for the sun. It kept my food warm. I kept it on the dashboard and it tastes just as fresh. Noise. Look at this crazy mofo. Climbing on top of a chair. Yeah, I'm talking to you, dude. Staring outside of the window, banging on the window. Freaking crazy guy. What are you doing up there? Do you even have balance? Freaking nutsos. He looks pretty buff back here though. What are you trying to do? Climb outside? Tiger, what are you trying to do? Tiger. Try to run away? <laughs> that looks funny. You wanna shave the bottom of his head? No. His hair is so yucky because of yesterday. I know. <laughs> Ew, what happened here? Why is it so sticky? I think probably some of the milk. He's flipping the bottle around like crazy. Oh. It started splashing everywhere. He just killed the bottle of milk right there. Alright guys. So, how hooked up is this? You guys won't know because it's pretty blown out. Let me see. There we go. So here we have the young Taika taking a bath in a pool. Let's do what they do in the movies and oh, yeah. put a bunch of soap suds on the privates. Yeah. There you go. That's awesome. His purpose is trying to kick the soap suds away because he's uh, proud of what he has and he wants to show it off. Yeah, he's definitely your son. Yeah, you know this is fucking cool. I'm jealous. Get in then. <laughs> All the water's gonna <laughs> overflow. Tiger's gonna be like, get out, mom. You're too freaking big. <laughs> That's why you gotta get our own pool. And in other news, I'm not gonna try to disturb this uh, lady that lives back here, but I wanna show you something. So we don't really spend as much time here. As you guys can see. Okay, I'm gonna stay down here. All right, but check it out, you guys. So you see in there? So there's this nice little bird who's nesting. And, uh, yeah, I think she's got babies in there. Oh, I won't disturb her more than this. I zoomed in, so. Okay, I'm gonna zoom back out. Sorry, lady. I'm out of here, I'm out of here. Okay, I'm gonna stay with my babies. Cause I get it, lady, I get it. Have your time, the dogs won't be out here, none of that, but please pick up your shit, look at that. Like literally, pick up your shit. That's disgusting. All right, for all my non-Asian peeps out there, did you know that Asian people are born with the Mongolian mark? If you didn't know, don't trip, cause I didn't know either. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Oh, Taika just sat down on it. We haven't been beating him. No. That's what they're wondering. <laughs> well, they wouldn't even know what we're talking about because I haven't even shown them yet. Oh, but it looks like bruises on the butt. <laughs> yeah, it literally looks like a bruise on his butt. So when he was born, he had this mark on him that looks like a bruise. Damn it. I want to show you. This is a Mongolian mark. He's had it since the day he was born, and at some point, it goes away. But yeah, I had no idea that Asian people are born with Mongolian marks. Isn't that wild? Do you know why that happens? Um, I don't know, but we're all Mongolian. <laughs> <laughs> that looks really cute. I like uh, running it through his hair, even though I know just I just gotta clean the scalp. But I feel like his hair is so wavy. Oh, there it is. Oh, we can't. Tell I gotta like organize it for him. Oh. All right, you're gonna. Well, okay, enough with the hair. That's it. Chill. There it is. See, see that's it? the overprotective mama. Yeah, you're gonna rub the hair off of the Oh, scalp. right, right. Look at that. Is that sorry? That sounds well, really yeah, scientific. Right there, that's the Mongolian mark. Get out there, get, get, get. 
I'm gonna beat you up. <laughs> oh shit. Ooh. Yeah. Ew, gross. <laughs> Never again. We did it once. That's it. We're done. But yeah, isn't that interesting? There's like this, um, there's this like little bruise that they're born with. How many of you guys, Asian, born with a Mongolian mark? Leave it in the comments right now. I want to see. I want to see how many of y'all they are. I'm not talking about bruise because your parents beat you. Don't try to be funny. Yeah, don't count the bruises on your face or your eyes. I'm talking about the ones on her butt. Hey, where did we go? All right, so it is eight o'clock and Taika's asleep. Taika could not keep his eyes open. He ended up falling asleep on my arm. That's where the red mark comes from here. That's if you see it, you see it there? Um, yeah, so I'm like, usually he goes to sleep by like 8.30, 9 o'clock, but he just could not stay awake. So went upstairs, turned everything off, closed all the window shades, and I put him down, already getting ready for him to start screaming and crying and us having to bring him back down. But as soon as his body touched the pillow and I left, he <laughs> just stayed there. So we left him there. I guess he's really, really quiet, but really, really tired. I'm assuming it's from all the laps he took in his little playpen. We do, girl. So that means Papa and I have a good hour before we want to knock out. Because we usually stay awake till like 11 because we try to bond and be very cuny romantic couple. But by our romantic, it means watch a movie and caress each other for like 20 minutes before one of us is dying and goes to bed. So we'll see how long we last today. Um, we got some Zanku Shikon in the house. You want to end your so. titties? Oh, we watched the stupidest movie ever. What was it called? It's a really old movie. Black Dynamite. Black Dynamite. It was so stupid. No, I just want water. Thank you. It was really dumb. Ooh, the, the sound of ice. Oh, makes my skin. Like, I get chicken skin. Um, It feels like... Ooh, ugh, I can't even take it. Oh, look, just thinking about it. I get goosebumps. Um, It feels like... Whoa, what happened there? It feels like uh, for when someone gets nails and they scratch the blackboard. Ah! That's what it feels oh, like. Shit. Ice. This place uses Chinese rice. It's like jasmine rice, but then they put like a little butter in it. Oh, yeah. What the hell? Yes, baby, you guys are everywhere. No, I didn't know Middle Eastern people use that. I don't know. I thought it was shawarma. I don't know. Not shawarma. What the hell am I talking about? Basmati rice. But it smells like jasmine. That's what it is. No, but it looks like basmati rice. It's Okay, so we're gonna grub and yeah, we're gonna grub. That's what we're gonna do. I'll start back with easy. <laughs> you're so fat, but you're really not fat because damn, look at that six pack. No, the six pack. There it is. Fine. All right, guys. Thank you for following us through our day where we uh, hung out Taika a lot. And then um, I got to help a random stranger named Joe and break my vow of not coming outside of the car. And what I feel like something else happened today that was like strange. strange. Anything else? Well, we showed them the bird, right? The bird that was like living in our yeah, umbrella. Yeah, strange. Did you have Taika a bath? Anything strange happen? Besides that? I feel that? like our whole life is strange. No, but like that was the strangest where we're just chilling and this random car drives up to us. That was pretty strange. Nah, I think that was it. And we don't look like very approachable people, so. He is crazy, right? Because I I feel like, I don't know. Asian people, fobs also just don't give a fuck. Though. I know. That's what I was going to say. Cause, um, so I've been told my whole life that I look very intimidating because yeah. I'm like really tall and I always have resting bitch face. Yeah. And I, I'm just, yeah, I just don't smile and I just don't look approachable. Um, and then Bart is the exact same thing. I would look very friendly. Everyone always says I look very friendly. No. I don't look friendly? No. I don't want to ever talk to you if I don't know you. Anyway, um, so then the fact that he came and he picked our car, so that's one. And then when you got out, you know how he had his door slightly ajar and yeah. then he just kind of got in? Yeah. He was like looking at the thing and then he looked at you up and down like, fuck it. Like, <laughs> fobs don't give a shit about like what you're wearing or whatever. There's like task at hand, that's all I'm focusing on. Yeah, he's probably on. like, there's probably a reason why he doesn't have pants on. Yeah, he was just like, that's probably a weird fucking, I gotta get my shit now. Yeah. 
Well, yeah, thank you for following us through our interesting day. Good night from me and my bear. Oh. And good night from our little doggies. And also, don't forget that we also do JK Party, we do JK News, and we do Barbell. So please, for all of you new subscribers and all of you old subscribers, if you're old, go check out what we've been doing because it's been some really dope shit and we recently released some stuff in Barbell, so go there. Uh, and if you're new, check out all the other stuff we do. Yeah. Okay, good night. Barbellbrigade.com Baby, you don't have to say .com anymore. People will just Google search the name, babe. What about the link There's in the description? The, I even, like, like the in link the, in the description. In the URL space? Yeah. No, I don't even do that. Like, I literally ask questions in there now where I'm like, what's that song that says the lyrics, whom de do da da and then it gives me That's everything. That's the new Kanye's jam. <laughs> Swoopity whoop, poop. Whoopity doop, poopity scoop. Scoopity whoop, yeah. poopity doop, whoop, poop.